Okay, what's going on traders? So welcome to a new trading week. Um, as you can see over here, um, today is the 16th of September. Um, we just started the trading week, it's a Monday. So um, previously in our Telegram channel, we expect that uh, this week is going to be a tough week. So if you look at the Forex calendar over here, okay, uh, you see that there's a lot of uh, mon monetary policy, you know, there's FOMC, uh, there's BOJ, there's even SNB, then there's Pound, okay? So maybe it'll take some time to explain uh, why is it uh, that we expect such weeks uh, to be difficult, okay? Because during uh, like uh, meetings, you know, like meeting minutes or like ECB conference or BOJ, right? Um, the market doesn't know what to expect in the sense that uh, during the conference, you know, the speaker sometimes uh, they, they just say what they feel like and it's very, um, it, it, you, you really cannot predict like um, what the person will say. Okay, but on other weeks which you have hard data such as like uh, unemployment rate, employment change, GDP, right? Um, the institutions already know the numbers. The big players, they already kind of know the numbers before the release. So they position themselves before, um, you know, kind of like before the data is released. They build their positions before um, the data is released. Okay, but when it comes to a press conference, anything can happen. So if you think about it, if an institution, um, they do not know what, uh, for example, President Draghi is going to say, then they are not going to go in big. Right, they are not going to buy in big. They are not going to build their position. Okay, so if they don't build position, then the market doesn't move. And when the market doesn't move, um, you don't actually get very uh, good movements. So if you see like last week, right? Last week we have um, we have ECB, correct? Before you know Monday to Thursday, you didn't really see much uh solid movements. You don't really see price trending one way. Okay, so this week is no different. Okay, we, we, you look at the calendar. So uh, we expect it to be very tough. So if you are trading on your own, please uh, trade like, you know, please be really safe. Please use proper risk management. Okay, our advice would be to not trade so much. Okay, so we we'll probably still send out some signals, but um, you don't expect to receive like 30 different signals uh, just uh, for this week. Okay, so now let's get into the charts, which is everyone's favorite um, part. Okay, so now here am I on uh, DXY. Okay, um, let me just clear it up so that I can do it from scratch. So if you look at uh, daily, okay, daily. Previously, we talked about uh, this zone. Okay, if you've been following our videos, we've been talking about this uh, kind of demand zone. Okay, it's still holding, but it looks like it kind of wants to break. Okay, so right now we are saying that, okay, this one zone is probably going to break. If it breaks, we'll probably see uh, the recent low being tested over here. Okay. Interestingly enough, uh, this was a, you know, kind of like a swing low. So there's definitely a lot of stop losses below here. I mean, it's not difficult to see that uh, there's probably a lot of stop losses below this zone. Okay. So uh, what might happen, okay, what might happen is price might come down first, retrace higher, then come back down. Okay, but if you are, I mean, if you are trading DXY, which I don't think that most of you guys are, right? Um, just wait for price to break, uh, this zone, this recent low here, right? Uh, let me just draw the line for you. Ninety-seven point eight six. Okay, wait for ninety-seven point eight six to be broken, ideally on a day close, right? If that happens, then you'll see uh DXY uh or dollar in short should be weakening. Okay, so most of you won't trade uh, DXY directly, but it gives you a lot of insight about the direction to trade for uh, maybe Euro dollar or pound dollar for gold. Okay, because if uh, you expect dollar to weaken, then um, you should be buying Euro dollar. Okay, so now let's move on to Euro dollar. Okay, so uh, the levels that we draw previously are still valid. Okay. Uh, except that now this seems like uh, this zone over here seems kind of uh, acting as a bit of resistance. Okay, let's go to H4. Okay, so last week, uh, maybe just a re re recap about last week what happened. It was so nasty, right? It whipped, it whipped the uh, people who, you know, shot early. Then it whipped the people who bought and then it just went back up. So it was a very, very, very nasty week. That's why we kept saying uh, in our Telegram channel that, um, look, uh, it's better not to trade, okay? Sometimes it's, it's better to just wait it out. 
Okay, so I need way with that being said, uh, it seems like there's a form of reversal. Okay, uh, not concrete, as in it doesn't, it's not totally convincing. Uh, so, so you just take a look. This is the first bottom and this is the second bottom. Okay, so this is kind of like a double bottom. Okay, so now the question is, has this double bo uh, bottom been broken? It, has it been confirmed? So let us see. Okay, if you draw the neckline like this, right, then it seems to be a broken, right? Uh, break, retest, you know, retest again. Seems to be good. All is good. But if you shift it up, you know, like, if you draw the extreme, which is the weak in the account, then, you know, like, mm, price seems to be still struggling. Okay, so I would say that price for now is not clear. We want to watch this entire zone for direction. Okay, but uh, we also note that this, uh, you know, big and guffing pattern, this bar over here is very strong. This is kind of like impulse move and this is kind of corrective. And normally when you have kind of like impulsive, corrective, the next move tends to be corrective. Okay, but uh, we want to see more confirmation. Okay, uh, this is a H4 chart. Ideally, a close above um, 1.10864 uh, would be would show further strength. Okay. Okay, we don't really want to be shorting. I mean, you could, you could short it like that, but uh, I think we prefer to, to be on the long side, but we just want more confirmation. Okay, so that's for uh, Euro dollar. Okay, now next currency we want to talk about would be uh, maybe you go to pound dollar. Okay. Now, pound dollar, it's uh, rather straightforward. I mean, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's a bullish structure. Okay, structure-wise, it's bullish. This is the low, right? So notice we're always doing the same thing, right? We're always looking at structure. We're looking at the trend, you know? It's always the same thing, okay? You cannot have consistent results if you analyze the market in a haphazard manner, okay? I think we, we keep re-emphasizing re this. You need to be consistent in the way you do things, okay? So anyway, this is a low, this is a high, this is a lower low, no sorry, lower high, higher high, higher low. Okay, so as, as clear as it gets, we are in a uptrend. Okay, but the question is, are we too late to buy? Okay, where, where do we want to be buying? Okay, these two levels we draw, drawn, this zone here, is a good zone to look for longs. Okay, the other thing we want to highlight, which um, it's kind of, uh, it takes experience. This zone is actually, uh, this entire zone is actually a, a supply level, okay? Sorry about it, we haven't recorded a video, okay? We've been having a good weekend and hope you had a good weekend, okay? Um, but we'll record a video soon about uh, how to identify uh, su uh, supply and demand levels. So this is kind of like a supply level now, okay? So, so if we're in a supply zone, um, you know, the, the, look at the departure here. From here, you have one candle, two candle, three candles, very big. So this is a very strong level. Okay, so even though the trend is up and you know we, we kind of want to buy, but we also take note that um you know this is a very strong zone. Okay, so if we are going to buy, we want to really uh see a lot of signs of you know, we really want to watch this zone that we drawn, right? This zone here between one point two four zero five and one point two four four zero. We want to make sure that this level uh shows signs of buying. Okay, because in the daily time frame we see that um you know. We are in a supply zone. And normally what happens in a supply zone is price will just do this. Okay? But of course, uh, this is on a daily chart. Uh, I mean, in a H4 chart, we're just interested in maybe taking 20 pips, 40 pips. So if you buy somewhere like here, correct? And you can take like 40 pips, uh, it's kind of uh, good enough. And you are also following the H4 trend. Okay? So pound dollar is a bit tricky to trade. We also see a double bottom here in a uh, higher time frame, which is the daily, right? Double bottom. Confirmation, uh, neckline broken, we tested, okay? So structure-wise, also bullish, but we are close to um, supply zone, okay? So uh, next currency you want to talk about would be Aussie dollar, okay? So Aussie dollar um, kind of, uh, is kind of bullish because you have this level, swing low, swing low. <clears throat> Price seems to be above it right now and you can see over here that currently um, there is no bullish uh, there's no bearish close, sorry, at all. Okay, price doesn't make a like big bearish. This is just a doji. Yes, it's a red candle, but it's still a doji. Okay, so clear uh, long buyers for this one. We will definitely want to be buying. Okay, 
you also can see the default pattern that uh, we were talking about this uh, over here. Let me show you. This over here is a impulsive move and this is a corrective move. Okay. Then I won't change the color, but this is a corrective move. So normally when such things happen, the next move is a uh, impulsive move. Okay. So the other thing we also want to see is um, you, you can also see that there's kind of like a channel light here, right? Okay, kind of like a channel. So it gives us more confirmation that this uh, is kind of like a wedge, rising wedge pattern. Okay, uh, haven't really talked about this, but uh, I mean, if you Google, this is a very common chart pattern. Okay, so we definitely see more upside. So the question is, uh, where can price go to? Okay, uh, this small zone here, which is again, uh, takes a lot of experience. Okay. That's why uh, we record this video for you. I mean, we wish we could explain everything to you, but there's a lot of things that takes experience. It takes time, okay? We've been trading for 15 years. So this kind of thing takes time to learn. So if you are still struggling, right, um, take your time. It's fine, okay? Trade the small account. If possible, demo trade. trade if you have to trade live, maybe trade $500 account, trade $100 account. Start small because it takes time to build all this experience and it's better that you lose a uh, small money uh, when you are new, new you know you're, you're still learning the ropes uh, compared to you know trying to trade like a twenty thousand dollar account when uh, you are not very sure about what you're doing okay so anyway back to this uh this is also a uh, supply level right it's been touched once but we expect this level to be quite strong the reason for it is look at the departure from this level one candle two candle three candle okay quite impulsive okay so we we'll probably see this level and uh, let me just switch the line chart. This level, uh, it kind of coincides with this, this zone here. Okay, that's the other trick that we teach. Okay, if you watch our other videos, you'll know. One of the tricks we use is we switch the line chart to find levels. So this level 69.103 is a very good uh, take profit level. Of course, uh, you don't want to take profit at exactly 0 0.6910. You always want to budget, um, you know, you always want to take profit before the level so that you always ensure that you exceed. Okay, what happens if you put 0 0.6910 exactly and price goes to 0 0.6908 and you don't close with, you know, you don't close with profit and price reverses, then you lose your profit. Okay, so always um, budget in a buffer. Okay, with that being said, okay, so we're definitely looking the long, um, but I uh, don't really like to buy it like that. Okay, we want to see more uh, le stronger levels to buy it on. Okay, I mean the, the market has just started and this week we expect it to be difficult to trade. So you want to be more careful with the kind of trades that we take. But long buyers for this one, if you are buying, look at 69, 0 0.6910. Okay. Okay, the next currency that we want to talk about is uh, Kiwi. Kiwi has been very weak. Okay, uh, you can see that there's this uh, bearish candle here. Okay, but seems like price... Uh, trying to struggle within this level okay this uh spike low uh i mean if, if you are if you could see this time kind of like an inverted head and shoulder not your typical one but i mean you could the, the basic idea is there right then you switch you can't really see it okay i mean if you switch it to the line chart uh you, you kind of can see it as like that okay but uh if you don't you look at this spike low okay so this one is very tricky because uh, on Friday the close uh, wasn't conclusive, okay? So whenever price is not conclusive, right? Like the candle didn't close conclusively, then there will be a lot of retracement. You think of it this way. If um, the bulls and bears cannot agree on uh, the closing price, whether price should close below or above the level, you know, it just kind of close on the level. That means that uh, both of them are quite strong, okay? So if that's the case, then uh, we want to be watching this level, okay? We want to be watching level. So let's go to H4 and just uh, take a closer look. Okay, just a moment. Okay, so um, this level is just sitting there. We don't see much at the moment. Okay, so uh, I think we won't say much. What we'll just say is that uh, if you want to buy, okay, if you want to buy, uh, make sure that price closes above uh, 0 0.6378, uh, 6378.5, okay, on the day. It must be a day candle, okay? Not H4 candle, day candle. Okay, if you want to sell, wait for this level to be broken on the day candle. Okay, interestingly enough, this zone over here, uh, we just saw this, it's also, uh, it's also a kind of like demand zone. Okay, so uh, if we have to take a direction, we'll probably pick more of the long side than the short side. Okay, 
but as, as I said, we want to see a close above 0.63785, okay, daily close. Okay, next currency, dollar cat. Okay, so uh, previously you talked about dollar cat, uh, how it, you know, it fake out, right? Fake out spike uh, this kind of like supply zone over here. This is a supply zone, okay? Look at the departure here. Okay, let me just clear this away. Right, look at the departure, it spikes this zone here, and then it starts selling down, okay? So the market is always like that. The market loves to trap people, okay? They love to trap people, okay? So don't, don't, don't lose money like that, okay? You watch our videos, we really kind of give you a lot of uh, value. We always tell you, okay, be careful of this, be, 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 be careful of that, okay? Because we lost a lot of money before, and we don't want that to happen to you, okay? So it honestly doesn't matter whether you join us as a member, you join us, you enroll in our course, we really don't care. Okay, because all this content is free content that is meant to help you because we understand what it means to lose money and uh, we don't want you to go through what we go through. Okay, so with that being said, back to this. Sorry, I went off topic. Uh, okay, so this one is very tricky because um, structurally, this one is kind of like, let me just clear this. It's kind of bullish. We have a double bottom that was retested. Okay, uh, find a daily... Um, it's not very clear at all. Okay, it's not clear at all. Okay, so I would say that this currency pair, I will prefer to skip it. Okay, but if you really must trade it, then we would think that the next level that price will probably go if, right? You if you force us to trade this pair, but then again you should never force a trade. Uh, we we'll think that it probably will go towards this level here, which is the supply zone over here. Okay, one point three three one nine one. Okay, the, the previous uh, double double bottom, oh sorry, double top, uh, right, this is the first top, let me show you. Second top, okay, this is the neckline. Um, you see it's tricky because it closed above, tested, but in the end it came back above. Okay, so we probably see it, we test here. Okay, a lot of people probably be looking at this level and this level, but uh, we think that's 1.3319 because that's a supply level. So if you can, please don't trade this because it's really, really, really tough. Okay. The next pair, dollar yen. Okay, dollar yen are uh, pretty clear, which is good, very good. Okay, you have a uh, inverted head and shoulders that was confirmed. Okay, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Okay, if you cannot see it that way, switch to a line chart. Okay, if you still cannot see it, then just see it as a double bottom. Either way, the conclusion is the same. Okay, just you just draw the neckline. Okay, uh, broke out, retest, confirm. Okay, so now um price is uh, retracing a little, little bit. So the question is of course where can we buy? So if you look left, it's quite simple really. This pair. So you should be trading pairs like this. Okay, like it's simple. Don't trade like just now dollar care. You know. Okay. I mean it's like if you could get paid. Maybe hundred dollars for working one hour versus you get paid hundred dollars for working ten hours. Of course, you want to choose a one hour, right? So in this case, you want to take the you know the easy trades. So this is an easy trade, okay? So you're probably looking at a support at around this zone here to buy up, okay? So where can you consider take profit? Uh, this supply zone here. Just just a moment. This supply zone here, okay? So it's quite quite clear this one. Buy here, take profit here, okay? But of course, uh, I mean, if you're not following our signal, you're training your own, uh, don't just take it from us to just buy. Do your own due diligence. Uh, if you have your own trading system, look for a uh, trade setup to win this level, okay? It's just a disclaimer. All our trades, right? Um, don't just buy just because we tell you this level. You, you, you need to uh, monitor, okay? If you're not sure, you're clueless, wait for our signals, okay? Be patient, we'll send it out, okay? Okay, last pair, which is everybody's favorite pair. Go, okay? Go, very interesting. The past few weeks, uh, our analysis on gold has been spot on. Okay, so hopefully this week it will be spot on also. So you can see over here that uh, we are potentially forming a head and shoulders potentially. Okay, this is the left shoulder, this is the head, and now um price comes down. Oh, sorry, price comes down and uh comes up, right? Uh, potentially, potentially, not there yet. Okay, but what's interesting about gold is that uh. With this structure, price hasn't really made a, a, a you know, like lower, it haven't violated the recent uh, low. Okay, let me just explain. 
So if we look, um, it's a series. Okay, this is not too good. Let me just switch back. Okay, this is a low. This is a high. This is a low. This is a higher high. Okay, so price hasn't violated uh, this, this, uh, this low here. Okay, higher low. So if price does this, breaks this level, let me just, okay. If price breaks 1479.5, correct? Then what we have is, uh, this pattern is long, longer, no longer true. Now instead of a higher, you know, higher low, we have a, we're gonna have a lower low, okay? Because if it breaks, then this low will be lower than this. So that's a very good sign of a trend, trend change, okay? So, but for now, right, because price is still here, okay? We probably want to be bullish on it, okay? And this is in alignment with our DXY analysis, uh, the first pair that we did. Uh, we say that um, dollar is likely to weaken. So if dollar is going to weaken, then gold has to, I mean, it's more likely to go up, okay? So we expect it to uh, buy it up, okay? Buy it up towards the recent high, kind of like a range play, okay? I mean, you can, it, it, it's always possible that price will break out of uh, the, the high, okay? But uh, I mean, if you're buying here, I think it's good, good enough profit to just lock it here. Right, maybe you can lock 80% of your trade and then you, you, you know, you kind of leave like 20% um, to, uh, to, to, to write the trend. Okay, so I think that's about it for this video. Okay, so uh, just a gentle reminder again, uh, this week is going to be a tough week. So if you're going to trade on your own, please trade safe. Okay, we, we don't want you to lose money. Okay, and um, we'll do our best to make you some good tips this week. Okay. Cannot guarantee, I mean, we have 10 weeks of profit. Um, you know, I mean, it's been good, it's been phenomenal, you guys have been loving it, the channel has been growing. But uh, we cannot keep going on like that, okay? There must be weeks that we lose because uh, that's just trading. We cannot win 100% of the time, okay? So if you have any questions, comment down below. If you are new to our channel, right? I mean, there's many new subscribers because our channel has been growing. Um, if you are new, make sure to subscribe to our videos okay we record a lot of videos such as this not just the market outlook analysis right we, we also uh, give you free content uh, we give you tips give you tricks that we learned across our 15 years tricks that cost us money to learn tricks that we paid mentors to teach us now all these materials are available at your fingertips in our youtube channel right here okay so please uh, if you want to learn you don't even need to enroll for our course okay just watch the video, put in some effort, right? And I mean, it, it takes time, it takes effort if you want to learn the skill set. So, put in the effort, watch our videos, okay? Take your time to watch it, understand if you have a question, comment down below. Um, you can always reach us at uh, our support email, which is support at Financial Market Wizards, okay? Till then, we'll see you in the next video and trade safe.